tell you, they're the first one that does it, and if somebody else really does it, does it. <laughs> I'll hear about it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, uh, I would recommend that you use a pencil for the checklist because a ballpoint pen may freeze up. Uh, yeah. Somebody told me it got down to 35 last night. Oh, yeah. Heat wave. Uh, be careful. Heat wave. <laughs> okay, the checklist, you need to turn that in before we leave the site. Okay, uh, all that stuff is here. Okay, you bring it in here. I'll leave. I'll bring it here before you leave. I don't, what time are you leaving tomorrow? Probably no earlier than 9-ish or Okay, so. I'll probably be leaving at 10. I would strongly recommend that once you finish, that you bring it over here and place it on this table here. Uh, the reason we need them before you leave is that uh, if we waited for everybody to mail stuff in, one never knows when you get all of them. So we want all of them before you leave the site. Okay, we signed the waiver. We got the waiver taken care of. Everybody's been signing it. If you haven't signed it, there's one right up here just awaiting your signature. Uh, if, there, if there are ties, for example, if somebody, several of you get 109 objects, you need to understand there's no observe all. Okay, there'll be <laughs> no sudden death. Okay, no extra, extra time observing. Uh, we will give up. Uh, First one to find yeah. 74. Yeah, if, if 10 of you get 109, there'll be 10 first class uh, plates. You need to understand that your astronomy club will pay for the uh, award, or you pay for it. We'll, we'll purchase it, but once we send you the award, we expect payment back. The plate in the past has never cost more than $10, so it's more than worth it. Uh, I may run into troubles getting the plates back on a timely basis, because the last two times I ordered some uh, uh, awards for some members of SAC, I was told by the uh, uh, manufacturer that it would be three weeks before they got it to me. If I wanted it sooner, it would be $100. I love y'all, but it's not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see, we got about that? Ah, okay. About safety. A few years ago, uh, uh, Jack Jones was uh, talking about it. When you finish observing, okay, when you finish observing for the night and you're ready to go home, Please don't drive home dead tired. Okay, stay here, get a few more hours of sleep, or on the road, pull on the side and get some rest. I want you all to be able to do some more observing, so don't push being tired while you're trying and trying to drive. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to go over the uh, uh, sunset sunrise times. I think we all know. Uh, <laughs> when the globe goes down. Many, many, many years ago, some person, I don't remember if it was a man or a lady, comes up to me at 9 o'clock and says, when do we start? <laughs> okay. You start whenever you can find stuff. Okay. And you keep observing until either you're done or you found all of them. Now, the, the analysis that I did indicates that uh, M30 early in the morning is not going to be available. So I expect 109. If somebody comes with 110, you better be ready to give me a good excuse. <laughs> okay. yeah, Jimmy's saying he is. I think I might come over. I might come over and look over his shoulder. Yeah, point your scope right there. You got it. <laughs> but he knows I'm kidding because this is not, uh, an honor for the ironic. system. Nobody's going to look over his shoulder. We don't have no referees. You notice nobody in referee uniform. There's no whistles or anything. It's an honor system. Have a good time. Okay. That's about all I wanted to... A few more things I wanted to talk about. Uh, this seems to be the first big star party in Arizona for the year. We do have some others during the year, and I'd like at least for those people to wave a hand because they weren't expecting this, and I decided this five minutes ago. Uh, in June, I believe it is, uh, there's a big star party up at the Grand Canyon. There's a gentleman here, I believe, who does the South Rim first. Uh, I forget his first name. Hey, O'Connor, where yeah. are you? What's your first name? Jim. Jim O'Connor. If you want to do a public star party that is an international star party, talk to Jim. Okay, it's the South Rim of the Grand Canyon in June? June, uh, June 5th to 12th. 5th to 12th, okay. Talk to him. Where are you set up, Jim? I got the cherry right looking the top down yeah, on the... the sun setting right over there. Right, right around the sun. <laughs> okay, if you like... It's the only big dive down there. Okay, if you like a star party that's a little bit smaller, still international in flavor, and takes a long time to get there on a beautiful drive, 
there's the North, the Grand Canyon North Rim Store Party, and the gentleman that takes care of that, Steve Dodder. Okay. I just, I, uh, are there still places available for the South Rim? Always. We've never turned anybody away. Okay. How about the North Rim? Unfortunately, the North Rim is a lot smaller venue, so we are full for this year. But you can go on the website, suaroastro.org, and see the reservations for next year. The, the guidelines are all on the website. If you want to talk to me, I've got the right over here. Okay. One more big star party, and I, I hope I haven't forgot any, is uh, uh, the uh, uh, star party in October. It's the All Arizona Star Party put on by the East Valley Astronomy Club, and I think more than half of you know that because more than half of you belong to EVAC. Okay. Who, who, who from EVAC did they talk to? Right here. Quick correction. Normally, it's October. It's late October. But the, uh, the, the, the new moon for October is earlier in October, and because of the warm weather we had last year and the people complaining about it, we've elected to do it for the new moon the first of November. Okay, it's in November. Okay. You bet. Okay. You'll have fun finding a new car. Yeah. I mean, is there a night? Okay.